Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pat Nappy here from pnlearning.net. And I've got another video here for you in my series of videos on the SAT practice test number two. Today we're going to be going over a part three question. That is the no calculator section on the exam. So definitely don't use your calculator here, even if you're tempted to do so. Um, we're going to be looking at number 17. And here we go. All right, so for number 17 here, we have a student response question. That means no multiple choices. Let's just see if we can figure out the answer based on what they give us. So they're starting us off here with a lengthy expression here. We've got 2x times 3x plus 5 plus 3 times 3x plus 5 equals uh, ax squared plus bx plus c. So right off the bat, once you see that we are setting this equal to sort of a uh, blank quadratic expression, right? And, and I mean blank in the sense that we don't know the coefficients, right? We don't know a, b, or c. Uh, once you see that, you should know that you're gonna wanna get the left-hand side into that same form. Um, basically, we're going to solve these constants, a, b, and c, by simply comparing the right side to the left side. This is what I like to call a comparison solve. You don't actually have to solve for a, b, or c. You're just gonna take two things on different sides of an equation and just compare them. All right, so let's see how that works. All right, so on the left-hand side, we're gonna have to start off by distributing this 2x and distributing this three. Uh, so we got 2x times 3x. This is gonna give us 6x squared. Uh, 2x times five, which is gonna give us 10x. Then we've got three times three x, which would give us plus nine x, and three times five, which would give us plus 15. And again, this is just gonna be equal to a blank quadratic. Uh, then we're gonna to say to ourselves, okay, on the left-hand side, we can really just do one more thing, right? We can combine our like terms. And if we were to do that, we'll get 6x squared plus 19x plus 15. And here we have it. Uh, we can kind of just start to see that the six is the coefficient of x squared, right? The six can be compared to the a. And the uh, 19, for example, is in front of the x, which can be compared to the b term. And lastly, the 15 is in the position of the c term. So um, we figured out what a, b, and c would have to be. Um, it says, if the equation is true for all values of x, uh, what is the value of b? So we're just gonna single out b, which is the 19. And so we get our answer. 19. So really all you have to do there is distribute things and combine like terms, uh, which is a very sort of standard thing to do in um, high school math. Um, what maybe makes this question a little difficult is the idea that we have the this blank quadratic and we're feeling like we're going to actually have to solve for A, B, or C in the traditional way, right? Like try to get A alone or B alone or C alone. Um, but in this case, we really don't have to do that. We're going to use this comparison method. Just get them to look as close to one another as possible and then compare the coefficients. Um, that's all I can really say about number 17. If you think you can do this problem in a um, easier or quicker way, definitely leave me a comment and let us know how to do it. Um, I'm always looking for better or quicker solutions. So if you've got one, definitely share it out with the rest of us. Um, if this video is helpful to you, definitely leave me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, um, or share this video with anyone else you know who might be going through SAT prep. Um, and as a reminder, I always offer one-on-one -on -one SAT prep and group SAT prep at my website, pnlearning.net. I meet with people digitally just like this, and I, I will essentially go over a ton of different practice tests for the SAT. Um, and I actually offer tutoring and test prep at some of the lowest rates around. Um, if you join one of my group courses, it only costs you $33 an hour and you get 12 hours for six weeks leading right up to the SAT. Um, so really, I'm not aware of a better deal that's out there. So definitely check my website link in the description if you're interested in that. Um, that's it for number 17. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.